Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How Do Animals Behave During a Solar Eclipse? Read by Miranda Wilson Abstract When was the last time you were at the zoo? You probably saw lots of animals doing lots of different things there. We wanted to know what zoo animals do when a solar eclipse happens. People have observed animals during solar eclipses before, but these were mostly just casual observations. We designed a study to observe 17 different types of animals at the zoo. First, we observed their normal behaviors. Then, we recorded what happened during a solar eclipse. We saw that a lot of animals did something that wasn't normal. Most of them started behaving like it was nighttime, in the middle of the day. Some of them even seemed anxious, like the eclipse stressed them out. This helps us understand how complex animal behavior can be. Introduction. Have you ever seen a total solar eclipse? It's what happens when the moon passes in front of the sun and completely blocks it. It makes everything dark for a little while. Chances are you haven't seen one. They happen in different places every few years, but they only occur in the same place on the Earth about once every 375 years. Scientists really like solar eclipses. They give them a chance to see what animals do during a novel event. This helps them better understand how complex animal behavior is. In the past, there have been some observations of animal behavior during solar eclipses. Animals sometimes show evening behaviors. They go to their nests or dens when it gets dark. Other animals seem anxious. They do things like pace or huddle in groups. Sometimes animals don't react at all, or they do unexpected things like look at the sky. Unfortunately, many of these observations have just been one person noting what happened with one animal. That doesn't give us a scientific understanding of how animals react to eclipses. That's why we wanted to study animal behavior scientifically during a total solar eclipse. This will help us understand how animals respond to events they have never experienced before. Here in Figure 1, you can see a solar eclipse. In A, you can see a total solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, blocking out all the sun's light. In B, you can see a photograph of the total solar eclipse on August 21st, 2017, taken in Wyoming, USA. It captures the moment of totality, when the moon completely blocks out the sun. Methods we looked at animal behavior at the Riverbank Zoo and Garden in Columbia, South Carolina. There was a total solar eclipse there on August 21st, 2017. We did several things to make sure our study was well designed. One, we trained people to make observations. We made sure they knew the animals and their habitats. We also made sure they watched to see what normal animal behaviors look like. Each team had researchers, zoo staff, and volunteers making observations. Two, each team observed one type of animal. We looked at 17 different types of mammals, birds, and reptiles. Three, we made observations in the two days before the eclipse. That's when we recorded what normal behavior looked like. This was our control data. Four, then we made observations during the eclipse. All our observations were qualitative. They were based on the behaviors teams saw. We put behaviors into four categories, normal, evening, possible anxiety, and novel. And five, we also made quantitative observations of siamangs, a type of gibbon, making calls. We recorded them and measured how long the calls were. Then we used statistics to see if they were different during the eclipse. Results. We found that 13 out of the 17 types of animals acted differently during the eclipse. Most of the animals showed evening behaviors. Some showed possible anxiety. We saw two animals doing novel behaviors. We also found that siamangs made shorter calls during the eclipse.
Here in figure two, you can see the unusual behaviors that zoo animals showed during the total solar eclipse. On the left, you can see animals that exhibited evening behaviors like grouping, moving to sleep locations, or increased movement for nocturnal animals. They include the cockatoo, the lapwing, the tawny frogmouth, and the African elephant. On the right, you can see animals that exhibited possible anxiety behaviors, like anxiety, grouping, pacing, movement, noise, and swaying. They include baboons and the American flamingo. Animals exhibiting both evening behaviors and possible anxiety can be found in the overlapping region in the middle and include the gorilla, lorikeets, the giraffe, and the Komodo dragon. Animals that exhibited novel behaviors like increased movement and increased noise can be found at the bottom of the figure, and they include the Galapagos tortoise and the Siamang gibbon. What was the most common type of behavior that zoo animals exhibited? What about the least common? Discussion. Our results match other observations. Many of the zoo animals showed unusual behaviors during the eclipse. Most were related to evening routines. Changes in light can cause evening behaviors. This can disrupt the circadian rhythm of animals, especially when light changes in the middle of the day. Some animals also acted anxious. For example, Komodo dragons are normally very still and slow. During the eclipse, the Komodo dragon ran to where it sleeps at night. Zoo animals and wild animals can behave differently. We need to consider these differences when we look at our data. Learned behavior. Zoo animals learn that when it gets dark, it's time to go to bed. Evening behaviors might be learned behavior. Would wild animals do the same? Stress. Animals in zoos can get anxious if there are lots of loud people around. The zoo was crowded during the eclipse. To balance that out, we made our control observations on the busiest weekend of the year. In the future, we would like to study wild and domestic animal behavior. Is it the same as zoo animals? Wild animals see more novel things in life than zoo animals. Domestic animals like dogs and cats might also respond to the eclipse, or their behavior might be related to their owner's reactions. We want to know if wild or domestic animals respond differently. Conclusion. Solar eclipses are really cool. If you ever observe one, make sure you never ever look straight into the sun with unprotected eyes. They can get really hurt. Instead, you could look at animals. You can join a citizen science project. Check out all the different projects online and the links below. You could even collect data during the next solar eclipse for a study like this. Even if you are somewhere where you can only see a partial eclipse, find out how on solareclipsesafari.org. Thank you for listening to this recording. This work has been adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal Animals, published in April 2020. Research conducted by Adam Hartstone Rose, Ashley R. Deutsch, and others from the Department of Biological Sciences at North Carolina State University and the Department of Anthropology at the University of Florida. See the full list of authors and affiliations in the accompanying PDF. Please visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.